Hello, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to react to a Just Pearly Thing videos of her reacting to a Fresh and Fit video on how modern woman threatened to the relationship. And she has some very interesting takes. I'm just ready to hear this. Let's go. A podcast that talks about checking women constantly is Fresh and Fit. Now, guys, I will tell you, when I first started listening to Fresh and Fit, they would trigger me a lot because I just thought they were so rude, so disrespectful to the women that came on the show. Which I actually agree with her. I mean, yeah, it is triggering. But I guess when you're used to it, you get better at it. So that's just my opinion. Until I got into their shoes. <laughs> life is funny. I swear life is funny. And then I started doing um, what they did. I did uh, a live show like them. And I realized, God damn, women will disrespect you 10 times. You check them once and they play victim. You check them once and, and you're the bad guy. You're the big me. Not all women. Most women do appreciate a man that checks them. And I realized that women will whine and whine and whine. And I'm not even saying I've never done this in my life. I probably have. But we live in a society that men can never check women for their behavior without being called toxic, manipulative, controlling. So it's funny because... 50-50. Uh, they used to kind of trigger me when I would watch them until I, I got red-pilled and I realized they're right about a lot of things. So at what point, though, does trust factor into that? Like, let's say her friend's getting married or, I don't know, her friend's celebrating a birthday. There's, yeah. there's 15 of her friends going out. She wants to join. Yeah. At what point does trust play into that? Where it's like, you don't want to tell them, no, don't go and hang out with your friends because you're going to a club. I mean, to me, that just seems like a little... Well, I was, I was, I, I yeah. say, you, you you can't control a girl. You, right. you obviously can't do that. You're not no. going to you're going to stay oh, inside. Right. You, right. The only thing you could control That's is true. what you do and how you respond. You right. want to go? Cool. You're single when you come back. But but there's got to be a line here, right? <laughs> but, but but no, that's not manipulation at all. But but, but let's that's just having say, boundaries and not let's acting just say on that it. example. Well, hold on, well, hold, on. Hold, on. hold on, let me give my example. Sure, okay? go ahead. Uh, one year relationship. Oh, mm -hmm. She's going out with her friends, celebrating a birthday party. It's sure, girl thing. Fifteen girls are going to be there. She's known forever. Mm -hmm. You would tell her no. You can't go to that because you're going to a club. I would tell her you can go and do whatever you do, but you will be single when you return. Stop jumping on me. That hurts, Myra. That hurts. Why? Why, why would that make sense to throw out a relationship like that that otherwise is good? Because if she respects you, she wouldn't have went in the first place. But that, but that seems like more like an ultimatum that you're placing on it's her. It's not an ultimatum. She has a choice to make. Okay, but I that, say but that's an ultimatum. <laughs> no, the, no, it's like, no, no, no. It's, you can do it. She's completely free to do whatever she wants because the thing is, is that she's putting the, she's putting the relationship in a risky situation. Why? Why would she be? Don't you? Yeah. Would, it, would you what, trust? What, because let's no. be honest yeah. here. Do you know what, what are nightclubs for? Well, here's the thing. So I will say in general. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh. Oh. I will say in general, oh. yeah, nightclubs oh. are for meeting other people. Because another dude, how many up girls dude. get looking at me? I have boyfriends, and we're like, "Yo, boyfriend, we we didn't even know." It's like yo, legit, bro. Yeah. It's funny, bachelor parties, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. Come to Miami. You know, I can't agree with fresh on this one, like. That is true. Like, it's like they want some women want to have like they do have boyfriends, but they just want to see how the outside world is, so they experience other this other side where okay, I'm relation. I want to feel value. Let me check my value with the outside world. I mean, it's crazy. A bunch of girls. Oh, they're just chilling by themselves. Before you oh. know it, there's a gang of guys in there in their room, and I'm just saying, bro, yeah. things happen. So don't be dumb about it. Be smart. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I refuse mm. to give a woman the comfort of security with me as her boyfriend while she can simultaneously and be behave as though she's single. I have boundaries and standards, and this is what it comes with it. Because the thing is, is that if a girl truly respects you, she's not going to want to go to the club. She's not going to want to be around her friends that want to go ahead and do all this extra stuff. Because single, single life. Yeah, like, like she's not going to want to behave like she's single when she's with a man that she actually admires and respects. And my thing is, if she wants to go to the club, that's cool. But you no longer are in a relationship with me because I'm not going to look stupid sitting at home 
while you go out and behave like you're single. Uh, that's the, this is the first point I actually would yeah. say. I have, I have a pretty strong disagreement. To, I Fair think, enough. look, that's if fine. you trust your partner and you trust their friends, because also it's you, your due diligence as your, you know, your partner's partner to get to know her friends and to understand who she likes hanging out with. Because she, right. I agree. I agree. She probably wants that too. And if you can trust everybody and they're all going out to the club and she wants to have a good time, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. But if you set this, not ultimatum, but if you make this apparent in the it's boundary, uh, this boundary apparent in the beginning of the relationship, such as, hey, if we're dating, I don't want you going to the club. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, it, would you do me the respect of not going to the club? I think that's fine because that's just a preference at that point, right? And I think all preferences are probably okay. You ever been to a club? Yeah. What was that club? People dance. What else? Drink. What does that lead to? Dancing and drinking. Sex. <laughs> That is one of the potential outcomes, but that that's not a, a one to one ratio. It's not like you just. Go to so here's the thing. I yeah. didn't. Here's, here's, here's I think right. this is where the disconnect is. Dance and do that. This is where the disconnect is. Yeah. Disconnect is this. <laughs> I think you guys grossly underestimate like how easy it is for women to get sex, and since it's easy for women to get sex, the threshold for them to cheat is also easier as well. It's a sliding scale that works together. Like for men, it's very difficult yeah. to get sex. That doesn't mean they always want sex though, because it's always available. It doesn't mean that's they're going to take it. But it. here's my that's thing. Yeah. I look that's at it. True. If your girl is out dressed provocatively and seeking attention, that is cheating. And some people might look at me like, whoa, what do you mean? It's because men and women are different. A man has to actually go out there, put his nuts on the line, talk to a girl to initiate some type of interaction. Women don't do that. Women rarely, if ever, approach men. How do they do it? They do it by exposing their sexuality. Men show their charisma. Women show their bodies. Yeah, but how would that be any different from a guy driving down with like, you know, a Bentley convertible with a nice watch on? Because you still well, got to put in outfit. work. You still have to put in work to get that girl. Even though. Yes, I agree with Myra. You still have to put in the work. While you still have to put in the work. The Bentley and the watch, yeah. all it does, it gives you another 20 seconds to, to, that is to build attraction, if anything. Like, it's still very difficult. As a man, even let's say you got a Bentley and a nice watch and everything else like that, a girl will still curve you. Yeah, like, nice. but a girl on the other hand, she could go into a club and go, Arr! and dudes will still smash her. But if you go into a club, <laughs> you gonna go to jail. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Like it's but not the see, same. I think if you do that with confidence, you the, walk up to me. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be like, she will be attracted to that because but, that is who you are. But the thing yourself. is, is that, so the th people hate this, but the reality is there is a double standard. Men and women are not the same. There's behaviors that are completely unacceptable for women. And there's behaviors that are completely unacceptable for men. And that's okay. And my thing is, is that women get mad at double standards that don't benefit them. That's where they complain about. So I wanted to point out a couple things. Do you notice how guys that are more blue pill always use partner in their language? Because again, they're in a more egalitarian model. We are equal. Like that, that is their mindset. And I, I really think, I was trying to think of a, a similar equivalent of a woman going to a club. Um, and I was thinking maybe a man on a dating app, but even that isn't the same. Um, because again, you're putting a girl in a situation where men, like you're basically saying, go to this club where 50 men are going to try to sleep with you at the same time. Why do women feel entitled to acting the same way in a relationship as you do single? And it's interesting because we expect men to change when they're single. Like, I, I don't think most women want their girl guy going to a strip club they don't want their guy you know going on board. yes that most for most guys that is true but it's okay to be blue pill to think that we're partners I mean not everyone has to has to have the same mindset boys trips but we expect to be able to go to a club like my question is if this is a woman you want to be a wife and a mother why does she want to be in the club while dating you? And it's interesting too. They don't really. That's why you got to know that before the relationship, you got to set the boundaries before the relationship ever happens. That's something that happens in the beginning. We really have a, a firm grasp on female nature. And I used to, I used to find this a little offensive. So I kind of understand like when you first hear it, it sounds trigger triggering, but it's like women, we are so easy to, to propagate. Like 
they elites have known this for over a hundred years. Women, if you just tell us things like get in our ear, you can literally convince us of goddamn anything. I mean, look at we we could be anything for, because of feminism. Feminism said, women, you can do whatever you want. And a, a lot of us just decided to go be whores. That that was the best outcome. Like, think of this. This is. I don't even know if that's PG. Unbelievable. That's how easy to maneuver and manipulate. So what? And and it and it shows in the data. Like women are much more likely to get divorced when their friends get divorced. There's a reason that we follow fashion trends, right? Women are like packed animals. And if you get the wrong group of women, the wrong chick in her ear, women just kind of go left. And the point that Myron is making is that why would you put a girl in a situation that is going to compromise your relationship? Like why would you allow a woman to constantly put herself in situations that compromise her relationships. There's nothing wrong with getting to know her friends, but if her friends want to go to the club all of the time, what does that say about her? Um, and I think a wise woman limits, you know, the type of friends she brings around and the friends understand that you're not going to move the same way in a relationship that you would single. Right. Meet Grammarly Go. Your go-to solution for getting quality work done quickly. Oops. It's kind of a more like egalitarian model. We are the same. Where Myron has a more um, hierarchy. I mean, he, he doesn't flat out say this, but... Hierarchy, yes. And then understand the world. We live in the world, in the world that has a hier hierarchy society. But it doesn't mean that you have to make one feel like you're better than the other. But again, it's it's that the woman should follow his lead. And a girl that is going to be in a relationship with him has to operate under his rules. And I think that relationships would be more successful if men had this mindset. But the problem is we tell men that they should just accept anything in a relationship, that a woman can act exactly the same in a relationship as she does. Actually, I kind of agree with her, with, with my experience. That's what society kind of taught me when I was learning about women in my younger days, teens days, to accept women who they are and just, you know, if just accepting who they are, which is true. You have to accept them who they are, but have no boundaries. Let her do whatever she wants. So I actually agree with Pearl on this one. A single. And it's like if a girl goes to a club, she's going to have a bunch of dudes hitting on her. If a guy goes to a club, like, I mean, he might get eyes, maybe, if he's good looking. It's it's just not the same. Imagine our mothers, I mean, some of y'all's mothers maybe did do this. Imagine our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers arguing for their right to go to the club. That's what we're arguing for. And that Arguing for the right to go to the club? My mother and my grandmother? That don't make no sense. That's what we've convinced the men to defend us for doing. Our right to go to the club. And the whole point is, a woman may be a good woman, but even a good woman around the wrong friends can be a bad woman. And it's kind of, it's the guys. That can go for the same for guys too. That's like, that's like if one guy wants to be a millionaire and he's hanging around five other broke dudes. You know, he's more likely going to be broke. It's the same comparison. Responsibility, if she's operating under his rules, to really protect us from ourselves, to be honest. Because we just, like, get around a group of people. We get the wrong social media thrown at us. And we just think things and start believing things. Now, I don't say this to be mean, but guys, it's just when you interview hundreds of women and they all have like the same conclusion. That's like men are abusers. Like, where did we get this idea that the men are the abusers? Propaganda. It's not in real life. Where did we get this idea that women are equal to men? Where? Because it's not in society. It's very clear when we look around in real life at who runs and operates society. It is the men. But yet, still in our head, we are equal. Still in our head, these men are these abusers, these rapists, when it's not real. 
But what they'll do is they'll just get in our ear and they'll do it in school. They'll get in our ear. They'll they'll take over our institutions with all the studies and say, this is a, uh, a study that says something that's not true. They'll get in our ear. They'll get in our ear for social media, get in our ear. They'll brainwash all of our friends, get in our ear. And then boom, we're on OnlyFans at 37 years old. I don't know what she talking about. I don't know where she came up with this conclusion. You have open relationships. Like all of this craziness is following the woman's lead. It's not following the man's lead because men are a lot more logical. Women, we operate on emotions first. We want to fit in. And I think evolutionarily, like we had to fit in in order to survive. But, you know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe your girlfriend should just go to the club, send her to the club and have a happy, healthy relationship. Well, guys, um, at, to conclude today, let your chick go to the club. Just let her, send her, have fun. Um, also, women have very valid reasons for divorce. And I'm just a big meanie, bad guy. Pearl's just a big meanie. Oh, hell no. Don't take that advice seriously. Don't. Just don't. But that's today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. Did you like today's video or didn't you? And make sure also hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.